a quick tip how to integrate HDR Light Studio with Keyshot. So if I click here on the Edit HDRI in the Environment tab, it opens up the Keyshot editor, but I want to edit it in HDR Light Studio instead. So the first thing we have to do is go to Edit Preferences, and in the Plugins, we have to check HDR Light Studio. OK, Save Changes, and then quit Keyshot and restart it. And then when we open Keyshot again, and load in our project, and then go to the Environment tab, Edit HDRI, you'll see HDR Light Studio option. And when we click on that, HDR Light Studio is going to open. And then we can make our lights. And you can see as I make a light here, we see it updating here in Keyshot. So let's say we made our lights here and we like that. Then all we have to do is we can either shut HDR Light Studio and it will still be here in Keyshot, but it's best to render it. So I'm going to say render, select the size I want to render it as, browse, and then say test 2, save. I leave the host live light and say render. And then you can see it appears here in Keyshot and there's our environment. And if we need to, we can rotate it. I'm going to put rotation to zero, so it will be exactly like in HDR Light Studio, because if you rotated it before or something, then it might not react like you expect it to if you put your lights here and it's here in some rotation number. And then as you see, as I move it here, we can see it updating in Keyshot. Now, if you want to be able to use the option to click on your model to position the lights, here's how you can do that. Let me pause my rendering because it's making a racket. And then I'll click here on the teapot. And then I'm going to load up my model. Double click the OBJ. And there it's upside down. So I'm going to say Y up. Select my camera. Sorry, this button here we have to click, and then holding down Control and left mouse button we can rotate around, Control right mouse button we can zoom in, and Control middle mouse button we can pan until we get a nice close look at this thing. And then we can just click on one of these options here, right click on our light, and then click where we want it to be on our model. And we can see it updating there in Keyshot. And then play around with it until you get your perfect lighting condition. Personally, I don't care to do with the live light, I just prefer to move the lights around here. I think it gives me more control, but it's up to you. And then when you're done, say render. And then you can close HDR Light Studio, you can save the project if you want. And then if at some point you wanted to add another light to this environment here, you can go Edit HDR Light Studio, going to usually open up your last project. But if you did not save the project, or if this environment was not your most recent project, then you're going to get a black screen like this when you say Edit in HDR Light Studio. And then if you want to bring in that environment so that you can add something to it, you have to click on this button, and then navigate to the HDRI tab, Browse, and load in the environment that you saved out. Open. And then there it is. You can't move the lights around because it's not a project, but you can add lights to it. And then you can either close it or render it out, rotate it, change the brightness, contrast, etc. And that's basically how to connect HDR Light Studio with Keyshot.